Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to load a form when your database starts up. Beginners, I have not forgotten about you. I know a lot of my tip videos lately have been for the advanced developer students, but I'm going to still continue to make the beginner lessons for you guys just as well. By far, most of the feedback that I get is from my advanced students who want more developer level stuff. But I know I got a lot of you out there too watching videos, so here we go. Now you got a database that you want to open up and start right off with like a main menu form, something to, to tell the user, hey, here's where you go next, right? Because normally when you start your database, you just get this, you get the database pane over here with all your objects in it, nothing over here. Okay, so how do we set that startup form? Well, it's under file and then options. And on the current database tab here, you'll see display form. Drop this down and pick whatever form you want to start up when your database loads. All right, hit OK. You got to close down the database and restart it. And when it opens now, you'll get that startup form. Now, how do you make this startup form? Well, this is just a form with buttons on it that opens other forms. And I teach you how to build that form in my blank template video, which is free. And I also show it in my Access Beginner Level 1 class, which is four hours long. And this is free as well. You can find these on my website and on my YouTube channel. I'll put links down below you can click on. And yes, I get asked this enough, even though I cover this in two other beginner videos, I still get emails from people asking, how did you get this form to start up? Well, that's how you do it. Now, what if you don't want that form to start up when you open your database? What if you want to go right to the database pane without the startup form? Well, there's a bypass key. If you hold down the shift key, all right, click on your icon, hold down the shift key, and now double click to open that. And you'll see that access will load up without the startup form, that's the startup key bypass, okay? Lots of people ask me that one too. And that's usually when you're a little more advanced and you got maybe some code that runs, some VBA code that runs in your startup form and it's causing an error or your database is locking up, you can bypass the startup form. Now, if you're running a really old version of Access, like before 2007, you will not have that option under file options. You have to create what's called an auto exec macro. Yes, I know this was for beginners and beginners were done, you can stop now if you're running a newer version of Access. But back in the day when I started working with Access, we had to create something called an auto exec macro in order to get our forms to open. Now, I don't have the older versions of Access still installed, but it's essentially the same thing. And if you inherit some older databases and you try to import them in the newer versions, you might find an auto exec macro. So I'm just bringing it up for you guys too. You basically create a macro and your action's gonna be open a form, right? Open form. What's the form name? Well, you could type it in or you could pick it from the list over here, right? Open up my main menu form. And that's pretty much it. You're gonna save this, control S, save it with a special name, auto exec. A-U-T-O-E-X-E-C. Okay? Now, close that. When you run the auto exec macro by just double clicking here, it does what you want it to do. Now, make sure you don't have anything in the form startup options. All right, I deleted it, it says none. And now if I close my database and open it back up again, you'll see the auto exec macro runs and opens that form. And if you know how to build macros, you can put other commands in there after that. You can open this form, open a second form, run a query, do whatever you want. I don't do a lot with macros myself because honestly, I prefer VBA programming. But if you don't want to be a programmer and you want to learn how to automate your database a little bit, I do have some advanced level courses where I cover uh, building macros to enhance your database. So check that out. I'll put a link down below. And if you don't like macros and you want some extra stuff to happen when the database opens, you can put that in the form open event for your form. Again, I know I said this was for beginners, but I got I to gotta show you this little trick here. All right. So go to your forms properties, go to events. All right, you're gonna to go to either the on load event or on open event, either one of these. You're gonna click dot, dot, dot. You might be asked what builder you want, pick the code builder, all right? And in here you can put a command like message box, hi there. And that will run when the form opens. So we're gonna save that, close it, close it, close the whole database down. And now when you open the database, your auto exec macro is gonna run 
which is going to open up that form. And the first thing the form does, even before the form draws itself, is it says hi there. And there you go. Yeah, sometimes I can't help but sneak in a little tiny bit of VBA programming, even in the beginner lessons, because I just, I love programming. And I know that once you learn a little teeny tiny bit of programming, you're going to see just how powerful your access databases can become. Want to learn a little VBA? Go watch this. About 20 minutes long, teaches you everything you need to know to get started programming in VBA. Even if you're a beginner, it's not that hard. Don't be scared of it. So there you go. That's how you create a startup form. That's how you create an auto exec macro. That's how you can bypass both of those things with the shift key and how you can get some more additional code to run in your forms open event. Pretty cool stuff, huh? Well, that's your fast tip for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Make sure you click the show more link down below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Even if you don't want to become a member, feel free to donate to my tip jar. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got puppies to feed. How do you become a member? Click on the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class each month, and more. Gold members get access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault, where I keep tons of different functions that I use. You'll also get a higher priority if you decide to submit any tech help questions to me, and you'll get one free expert class each month after you finish the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks, plus even higher priority for tech help questions, access to all of my full beginner courses for every subject, and one free developer class each month after you finish the expert classes. These are the full length courses found on my website, not just for access to. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, and lots more. You can now become a diamond sponsor and have your name or company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown in each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over four hours long, and I just updated it for 2021. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below that you can click on. And also, if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1. Yep, that's all, $1, and it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level, even supporters. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page on my website, and you can send me your question there. While you're on my site, feel free to stop by the Access Forum. Lots of good conversations happening there. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross. Thank you for watching this tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.